Angela Sun introduces us to the founder of California Baby. You know, living in California, it is oftentimes easy to take for granted how much sun we actually get in our beautiful state. You know, but with all of the golden rays and wonderful weather is the need to protect our skin. And with the changing seasons coming up, how do we navigate on which sunscreen is the best and which one's the safest? Well, I happen to be at the place. I'm in the labs of California Baby, a natural products company based here in LA with founder and trailblazer, Jessica Ikosoy. Hi. Hi, thank you so much for having us, Jessica. Welcome. So take me through a little bit about how can we play safe in the sun? I mean, I've done a lot of research myself, but I know you have a wealth of knowledge. I've done a lot of research <laughs> too. Um, so how you play safe in the sun is number one, is that you choose the right sunscreen. Yes. And my choice is a mineral-based sunscreen like California Baby. I don't like chemical sunscreens because there's a lot of carcinogens in chemical sunscreens mm -hmm. and I don't think people really understand that. Uh, benzene, for instance. So I haven't heard of benzene. You haven't. It's a, it's a common carcinogen and it's from petroleum and it's a known carcinogen and it's in many sunscreens and there have been many recalls on it and yet it's still on the market. And it's in aerosol ones, is that it? Primarily or aerosol, it could be liquids. in gels, it could be in liquids, it could really be in anything. Got it. And so a mineral sunscreen with titanium dioxide or right. zinc oxide is the way yeah. to go. That's what I prefer. But here's the thing, as a surfer and as someone who's in the ocean a lot and at, at the snow, I feel like the physical sunscreens, they're really hard to put on properly. Like, okay. yeah. are you really supposed to use a shot glass worth of sunscreen? So they're different. The thing is, is that chemical sunscreen is a liquid and so it comes on like a lotion, right. but a, a mineral-based sunscreen is basically a mineral and uh -huh. you're applying it to your skin and you're creating a barrier between the sun and your skin and it scatters and reflects the UV rays. So if you look at a mineral-based sunscreen, it's solid. Can I try this? It's yeah. opaque, absolutely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this properly yeah. if Jessica shows us. So that's, that's it, see, it looks like a lot. Yeah, and it is a lot, so you don't need to use a lot. So this is what we recommend okay. at California Baby. We say dot, 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 and then connect the dots. Dot. So, yeah, dot dot. dot, 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 and now just connect the dots. Connect the dots. Okay. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to create a nice, even <laughs> layer. Is, well, you did it. A you created you. a nice, even layer. Okay. I think sometimes people use too much because they just like smush it on. And you think you and then, need that much, Yeah, right? you don't need that much because it's very concentrated. Right. So you just keep creating layers. And this is not just for babies. This, this is, is not for just adults for babies. Too. Like, could I use this can under you use this makeup? On your face every and day. you can use this every day. Yes, you can. This I is do. amazing. I, I protect my skin every day with this. And actually moms, it will create a nice base for your sunscreen. I mean, mm. for your makeup. Oh, yes. sorry. Yeah. yeah, like a primer. Like a primer. Amazing, Yeah, I love it. And so I know that you are, have a meticulous attention to detail. And I'm a little all, obsessive. All, I'm a little obsessive. Over 30 years of experience yes, in yes. this field. And speaking of fields, I know you have fields. Tell me a little bit more about how you source your ingredients. Well, you know, California Baby is different because we actually manufacture our own products. We have an FDA facility, certified organic farm in Santa Barbara, California. And for instance, this is our calendula. This is certified organic calendula that we grow there. And then we bring it down Ooh. here to Los Angeles and we do the extraction. This is French lavender, so this is Beautiful. smells so gorgeous. And then this is eucalyptus, and it go, this goes into our eucalyptus ease products. And so we grow it, and then we extract it here. So having the control of the supply chain really is very important. Is very important. And control of your supply chain is very important. A lot of companies don't have that, mm -hmm. and that's why we chose to do that. So we have control from beginning to end. So what inspired this passion and attention to detail? Well, I was a, a new mom mm -hmm. and I was cleaning up my lifestyle, wanting to live you know, as healthy as possible. And I looked up ingredients and I found that many of them were listed as potential carcinogens or known carcinogens. But this was like in the 90s, yeah. before organic yeah. was a thing, yeah. right? It was, it was back then and nobody really seemed to care, but I really cared. And I decided to do something about it. So shampoos, bubble baths, sunscreen, diaper care. So you've got a whole array and it's all for babies, kids, and adults with sensitive skin. I love it. Well, look, it's already, see, it's already, it's already so good. Okay, do you see how you applied it? You applied yeah. it perfectly. And now you can even add another layer if you wanted to. And now I'm ready to go hit the sun. Let's do it. Thank you so much, all Jessica. Right. Perfect. Ready for spring. We're ready. Mm -hmm.